Dear Honorable Viewers, All Students of Class 7 and their parents, Assalamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullah. Welcome to the Assignment Solution for Class 7. This is the third week's assignment of 2021. Subject of third weeks are Agriculture Studies, Home Science and Mathematics. Today's topic is Mathematics. If you are already subscribed in my channel, thank you very much. If not, please subscribe now to get the notification of the next video. For this, click the subscribe button below the video and then click the bell icon. And finally, select the option all. Take a look at the given instruction of the assignment. Now come to the main topic. Question 1. Write a three digit whole square number and find the square root of the number in two different ways. Answer. Suppose a three digit whole square number 400, I mean 400. Finding a square root through prime factorization. At first, write 4, 0, 0, then draw two vertical, one vertical and one horizontal line. And now, write the least, I mean the lowest prime number, 2. Now divide 400 by 2. And the result will be 200, zero, zero, that means 200. Now divide another time by prime number 2, and the answer will be 100, 100. Zero, zero. Again divide 100 by 2, and the answer will be 5015. And then divide by 2, and the answer will be 2525. And 25 is not divisible by 2 and 3. So we have to divide 25 by the next prime number is 5, and the answer will be. And the answer will be 5. Here 400 equal 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 5 into 5. Equal 2 into 2 is a pair into 2 into 2 is a pair into 2 into 2 uh, 5 into 2 is a pair. Here, taking one factor out of every pair of prime factor of 400, we get 2, 2, and 5. Hence, the square root of 400 equal 2 into 2 into 5 equal 20. Finding the square root by division method. At first write 400, zero, zero, I mean 400. From right side, take two digit at a time and form pair. Place a horizontal line over every pair. 4 is the first number and have no pair. Its square number and its root is 2. So, write 2 at the right side of the vertical line. Now, write 4 below 4. Subtract 4 from 4. The result is 0. 
to the right of the result 0 place the next pair 0 0 draw a vertical line to the left of 0 0 0 put twice the quotient 2 equal 4 to the left side of the vertical line keep a space for inserting a digit in between 4 and the vertical line now find an one digit number which is to be placed at the right of 4 so that the number so formed when multiplied by that digit equals to 0, 0, 0 or less. In this case, it is 0. And put this 0 to the right of 2. And then the right of 4. And now 0 and 40 if we multiply it, we get only 0. So, if we subtract 0 by 0, we get result 0. So, 20 is obtained in the quotient. This is the record square root. Hence, the square root of 400 equal 20. Question number 2. A truth can be arranged in 9, 12 and 20 rows, but not is a square form. What is the least number in truths is to be multiplied so that the truths can be arranged in a square form. The number of truths will be least or lowest common multiples. I mean LCM of 9, 12 and 20. So write 9, 12 and 20. Now draw a horizontal and vertical line. Now divide 9, 12 and 2 by the prime number. At first prime number is 2 and the result will be 9 because 9 is not divisible by 2 and 6 and 10. Again divided by 2, 9 is not divisible, 6 is divided by 2 and result is 3 and 10 is 5 and now we can divide these numbers by the prime number 3 9 into 3 3 into 1 and 5 is not divisible hence LCM I mean lowest common multiples of 9 12 and 20 equal 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 5. We can make pairs. The number of truths equal 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 5 equal 2 into 2 a pair into 3 into 3 a pair and into 5. 5 has no pair. Here the number of truths 2 into 2 a pair into 3 into 3 a pair and 5 cannot be arranged in a square form. To make a perfect square 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 5 is to be multiplied at least by 5 because 5 has no pair. Hence, the record number equal 5. Thank you very much for watching and keep watching for the next video.